The female cycle is subject to extensive hormonal regulation. Specific regions in the brain release hormones and in this way control the natural processes in the womb and the ovaries. The time of ovulation is highly variable. The uterine tube encloses the ovary and receives the egg cell. Fine hair-like structures inside the tube then sweep the ovule towards the womb. If no fertilization takes place, the production of hormones needed to sustain a pregnancy discontinues. As a consequence, menstruation sets in, shedding and discharging the mucosal lining. A new cycle begins. Through sexual intercourse, the man's sperm cells reach first the womb and then the uterine tube. Inside the uterine tube, the sperm can survive for up to five days, waiting, so to speak, for the ovule. Ovulation occurs and the ovule is taken up by the uterine tube where it survives approximately one day and can be penetrated by one of the waiting sperm cells. Because the sperm cells can survive in the uterine tube for up to five days, the probability of getting pregnant increases sharply as ovulation approaches. Since the ovule has a much shorter lifespan, pregnancy becomes a lot less probable after ovulation. Sex on the day of ovulation or later can also result in pregnancy, although the probability is lower. As a consequence, it is always, during the entire cycle, absolutely necessary to use contraceptives. Emergency contraception, referred to popularly as the morning after pill, should be taken as soon as possible after unprotected sex. Emergency contraception does not protect against pregnancy if further unprotected sexual intercourse occurs before the next menstruation. For this reason, it is strongly recommended to use a barrier method, such as a condom, during further sexual intercourse within the same cycle. Should no pregnancy be intended, an emergency contraceptive must be taken if you have had unprotected sex or your contraception has failed for any reason. If it has happened, act quickly.